Good day, everyone, and welcome to another exciting vocab lesson. This is Mr. Stitt, and today we're going to go over week 18 vocab words for my 8th grade students. So here's a list of the words this week. Artisan, indelible, contemplate, lament, humble, and arrogant. So let's jump into the words and find out what they mean. So the first word this week is artisan. Artisan. Now this is a noun, so it's a thing. And it's a person who's skilled in a utilitarian art, trade, or craft, especially one requiring manual skill. A craftsperson. So if you look at this image here, I have a potter on the potter's wheel. They are making a beautiful pot or vase or some sort of craft. This person is known as an artisan. An artisan is also a person or company that makes a high quality or distinctive product in small quantities, usually by hand or using traditional methods. So this is not a big giant factory. This is not a uh, corporation. This is a small business. This is like a, a single individual who's handcrafting something. So if something is coming from Walmart, it's probably not artisan. An artisan is going to be selling things at like a farmer's market or a craft fair. Something local, something small, but high quality. So synonyms of this word would be builder, craftsman, professional, and maker, and hand craftsman, artisan. The next word this week is indelible, indelible. Now indelible is an adjective, so it's a descriptive word, and it means making marks that cannot be erased, removed, or washed out. It's impossible to eliminate, forget, or change. So typically, indelible is a positive thing. We refer to someone who did something great as making an indelible mark on whatever industry or institution that they were a part of. So unfortunately, this year, we lost a great basketball player to a, uh, a helicopter crash named Kobe Bryant. And so oftentimes during this season of, of loss, people were remembering all the great things that Kobe Bryant accomplished. He left an indelible mark not only on the NBA basketball, but also on society. He was a great philanthropist, and he also gave a lot of art to the world. So Kobe Bryant, not only a great basketball player, but a great person, he left an indelible, irremovable mark. So synonyms of indelible would be enduring, lasting, memorable, stirring, and unforgettable. Indelible. The next word this week is contemplate, contemplate. And you probably heard this word before, especially at school. So it's a verb. It's something you do. And it means to look at or view with continued attention, to observe or study thoughtfully, to consider thoroughly, to think fully or deeply about. So if you're contemplating something, you are really, really thinking about it hard. Maybe you are contemplating how to do a specific math problem. Maybe you're contemplating what you want to buy at the mall. Maybe you're contemplating where you want to go on a trip. It's deep thought, so it's not just a passing thought, it's a really deep consideration. So synonyms of contemplate would be consider, mull over, think about, ponder, weigh, and decide. Contemplate. The next word this week is lament. Lament, and it's another verb, so it's an action, something you do. It means to feel or express sorrow or regret for, to mourn for or over. So. In the previous example, I was talking about Kobe Bryant, a great basketball player whose life was cut short by a tragic helicopter crash. Many people lamented his death or his passing. They expressed sorrow. They expressed regret. They were grieving over the loss of such a great person. Um, synonyms for this word would be bemoan, deplore, regret, cry, howl, sorrow, wail, and weep. So anytime something terrible happens to you, the loss of a loved one, the loss of a job, the loss of something special to you, you might lament that thing. The next word this week is humble. Humble. And this is an adjective, so it describes someone or something. And humble means not proud or arrogant. It means modest. To be humble, although successful. Having a feeling of insignificance, inferiority, or subservience. So as you can see here, this would be, the person in the orange would be a humble servant to the king. He's kneeling before the king, showing respect, serving, and not desiring to be in a position of authority. They are 
listening or following the direction of the king. They are very humble. Um, a person can be humble. Uh, a, a child can be humble. An outfit can be humble if it's not very loud and obnoxious in color or design. If it's just very simple, it's humble. So synonyms of humble would be courteous, gentle, modest, quiet, simple, shy, and timid. Humble. Now, the complete opposite of humble would be the next word this week, which is arrogant. Arrogant. It's an adjective, descriptive word, meaning making claims or pretensions to superior importance or rights, overbearingly assuming, insolently proud. So this is not being humble, which is being uh, serving and uh, uh, understated. Arrogant is being overstated, loud, proud, obnoxious, in your face. So that's why I have a picture here of somebody flexing their muscles. Somebody who flexes their muscles a lot might be seen as arrogant. They're showing off. They're being cocky. They're telling you how much better they are than you. A person can be arrogant. An outfit can be arrogant. A house can be arrogant if you look at it and it's just obnoxiously huge. Um, anything that's bossy, cocky, haughty, pompous, pretentious, or vain is arrogant. Well, thank you so much for joining us this week. Here's a list and summary of the words we learned in week 18 for my 8th grade students. Artisan, indelible, contemplate, lament, humble, and arrogant. Well, thanks again for joining us. I hope to see you next time. Bye!